This is courtesy of the nightclub in Berlin called Anomeli. Well, it's not really a nightclub. It's more so like a performance-y, all-encompassing space thing. But they put up this post on their Instagram, which is quite interesting, right? This is a poem a while ago. It says, we, have to, we want to give our guests the rare opportunity to be a part of a global Netflix production and contribute their views and opinions on the nightlife scene of Berlin, which we cherish so deeply. For this occasion, we are throwing a free party to show the world what the values our clubs hold. So allegedly, Netflix are making some sort of documentary, feature film, series, whatever, um, centering about the nightlife in Berlin, which is pretty sick. Um, obviously, if you're a Berliner, you're going to be upset because this is definitely going to open up Berlin and nightlife over there to the masses. It's already opened up anyway. I think everybody and their mum knows about Berlin and the clubs over there. But this is definitely going to open it up to way more normies. Now, me, being ever the optimist, I think this is a good thing. I think having new, fresh people in the scene with fresh new ideas, new perspectives, you know, different experiences, different backgrounds is a net positive for the scene. And what I think that it will do is that it will challenge clubs, challenge punters, challenge artists, DJs, whatever, to maybe come forward with a bit more fresher things, newer ways to entertain and to keep people, you know, on the dance floor to make them want to buy tickets continually. Because I feel like at the moment, we're in a little bit of a malaise. Every event's kind of the same. Even when it comes to lighting and productions and shit, everyone's kind of doing the same thing with the light DJs and the VJs and whatever it may be and some of the LED panels and some of the augmented reality things. It's all kind of being a bit formulaic at the moment. So maybe having different people come in who have different expectations, who maybe come from different, you know, who maybe have experienced different shows and feel like they should have a different level of standard for shows from a DJ or from a live act or from a club, that might actually spur people to actually step up, pull their finger out their asses and come with something actually fresh and new to keep everybody entertained and then it give a certain positive for everybody else. Now, the negative of it could be you bring all these normies in who actually have no appreciation for the stuff that's been built before them, the, le the foundation that's been laid, the traditions that take place in these places, the way of going about and behaving and whatnot, and they're going to come in and piss all over it and just trample over it and turn every club in Berlin into Matrix Bar or into Matrix, right? Into the Matrix Club, that fucking awful one. That's obviously a possibility, but I don't think that's the case. And if anything as well, what it will do, maybe it will also just shine a light on people who are doing some great work also. I think that needs to be highlighted because I don't think we have, since Resident Advisor has kind of fallen off, there aren't really a lot of outlets, maybe aside from mine, that really speak passionately and openly about nightlife and dance music. And I don't even go that deep into it. I'm not really reviewing EPs. I'm not reviewing loads of shows and stuff. I'm just talking from my own personal experience of being a punter and being a DJ. But I think it's actually a good thing that some of these places and the clubs and the infrastructure around Berlin and places gets put on this sort of platform because you never know. It could have an effect on other places around the world. Maybe parts, places like London, Maybe our councils, maybe our governments might see these programs, the reception, the feedback, the pushback, the complaints from people online, and it might make them think, you know what, maybe we should take the nightlife sector a bit seriously. Maybe we should advocate for these guys more. Maybe we should try to put things in place to make sure that clubs aren't closing at breakneck speed. Maybe we should foster all of these new talents. Maybe we should build sort of some sort of infrastructure that could allow places to flourish and whatnot. So new generations could come in just to line their pockets because that's something I've always been really perturbed about in London. Our nightlife industry is in the billions, right? If you include nightlife, that's broadly across the board that covers things like from theater to fucking restaurants and shit, right? Our nightlife industry makes a lot of money. But for some reason, the country doesn't really take it too seriously. And they don't really, you know, invest much money into it, into its safekeeping or into its safeguarding. So maybe highlighting places like Berlin and how unique and sort of like out there it is with its relationship with nightlife and how, you know, privileged they are to have the scene that they have where they can party from fucking Thursday to Tuesday. That might actually give our government a bit of a wake-up call and make them realise that they're leaving money on the table. That's the main thing they need to kind of fucking worry about. They could be lining their pockets far more than they are now if they would just if they would just invest a bit more money into nightlife, which they obviously don't do. I would love to see that going forward. I really fucking would. So I'm really eager to see this documentary. I'll see what they're going to do. 
whether it's a documentary, whether it's a feature film, I don't really know. But that's what I saw on the timeline. So let's hope and pray that it's something good. Let's hope and pray that it's something good.